Hello! In this video we're going to have a look at how to upgrade your Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer to basically Windows 10. Now, generally what's happening is Microsoft were issuing these little notifications okay, for you to upgrade and if it didn't come through we're going to go through how to get this pop-up over here or how to upgrade it using the normal update system, etc. Okay, the other option was basically you type in Windows Update. Okay. And then you should get this. Generally, you should get it towards the end of you updating everything already. Once you finish all updates on this computer, then it actually issues this. If you're not getting this, if you're not getting this, there is a registry solution to make sure they pop up. Okay, so basically, you need to go over there, type in reg edit. Okay, click on that, click yes, and it brings you up into the registry editor. Okay, now you need to go to this specific location in the registry local key machine, software. Microsoft, okay, and then Windows, then it's current version, and then you go down over here to Windows Update and OS Upgrade. Okay, once you click on this, you get the screen, okay? You will not have this allow OS upgrade. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this right now so that I can actually delete it. I'm just copying that so I don't have to type it in again. Okay, and I'll just click delete on that and there we go. Okay, what you need to do is create a new DWORD 32-bit value. Type in that. Okay, allow OS upgrade. Okay, and the default value comes up as zero when you set a new one. You need to change that to one. Okay. Just to be a little bit more safe, okay, services, okay, open this up, and you need to turn on a few things to make them automatic. Okay, you have background intelligent transfer, okay, turn that to automatic. How do you do that? Just right click on it, properties, and then automatic. You can have a delayed start or automatic over there, that's fine. Okay. Then you need to go down to Windows Update. Okay, da, da, da. over there, make sure that's also changed to automatic. Okay, then you have your TCP IP. Make sure that's also automatic. Then you have another one. Okay, IP, IKE, that's the one, okay, make sure that's also running as automatic, okay, and what you do, restart your computer, okay, and then this little fellow should pop up, okay, what you can do, click on him, okay, you get this nice little window, get Windows 10, it takes a short time to work okay reserve your free upgrade okay you click on that this PC isn't compat is compatible that's happy happy reserve your free upgrade okay working on it okay enter your email address okay or you can skip email confirmation all done for now okay and then Hopefully in the near future, or as soon as possible, restart your computer. It might start upgrading in the background. Okay. If nothing works, okay, there are even faster methods where you do it yourself. Okay, basically you download the Windows ISO. Okay, either burn that to a DVD or move it to a USB disk. Okay, let's go through a few of those options. Okay, let's um, take up Windows Internet Explorer. Okay, and we go to Google, and all you need to do is just type in Windows 10 ISO download, or just Windows 10 ISO. 
it's the first two. Make sure you're going to a Microsoft site. You're not going to any other kind of like website. Okay. And you can click on that. Okay. And you get download Windows 10. Choose the download tool for your computer, 64 bit or 32 bit. You can always check it in. Control panel over here. Okay. Control panel home. Okay, system and security, system. Okay, and there we go. It says 64 bits, so we know that. Okay. All right, so you download the tool. Okay, and you just save it. Okay, after a while, it'll be in your downloads folder. Okay, which is over here. Okay, there we go. And then you run it. Okay, we'll just show you how it looks when it's running. Okay, when it starts up, it comes to this position. Okay, upgrade this PC now, that's one option. Or you could create the media and then save that and then use that media to upgrade it. It's entirely up to you. Okay, click next, choose your language. Okay, English, UK, United States, that's fine. Windows 10, which version are you currently on? Okay, you can only upgrade to that. So if you're on home, you're going to currently choose home. If you're in like Windows 7 or Windows 8 home, you're only going to go to home. If you have a pro, you can choose pro. Okay, now it's 32 or 64 bit. Okay, and then next. Okay, now you can have it either created on a USB flash drive, which is nice, or an ISO file that you can use to burn to a DVD later. If you have a USB memory stick, okay, you can actually just, once it downloads the Windows ISO, it'll actually move it to your USB stick and you just plug your USB stick in and then restart your computer. Hopefully, if your UEFI or BIOS are set up, you just boot straight up into Windows and you can upgrade it, okay? Or you can choose a few other things using our previous videos that we have. Okay, so that's that and you just click Next, okay? All right, we haven't got a USB inside, so that's fine. So click next. You can always copy an ISO to a USB disk. It's not a problem as well. We'll share it. Okay, choose anywhere. Okay. And now it is quite big. It's about two to three gig, almost four gig for the 64 bit. Okay, and that takes time. Once you have that, you'll have a Windows ISO over here. Okay, or if you had chosen the USB and you had a USB stick in, that will work. Okay. Some people were having errors with that Windows tool. Okay, you were getting like a something happened and then a number. Okay, in those cases and where you're also not getting that reserve your Windows option or you're not getting it in the Windows update where we showed you just recently over there, if you're not getting that, the last option that we would suggest, and it's rather than trying to fix any Windows tool errors, is basically go here. It's the tech bench, okay? So it's basically microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash software dash download forward slash tech bench, okay? And once you're over here, you are given an option to actually download the ISO yourself here, okay? So it's Windows 10. Okay, it'll check everything's okay, check the product language, okay, English, okay, confirm, all right, and then it gives you either a 64 bit or 32, once again, you click on download, okay, we've already done that, okay. And we have that over there after about an hour or so, or depending on how fast your broadband speed is, you get this. And then if you want to upgrade, you can either boot to a DVD and then boot up through it, or you just click over here. That brings up setup. Okay, and then you can download and install updates recommended. Okay, or click not now. All right, click next. Um, you can help Microsoft or you can unclick that. That's fine. Okay, accept the license. It'll now do a little test of your computer to see what it can keep, what it won't be able to keep. 
Sometimes you'll find some programs can be carried forward. This can take quite a long time depending on how much stuff you actually have on your computer. Okay, in this case, you're able to keep these things. Okay, your settings, personal files, and apps, which is nice. Okay, install. And now, basically, it's going to be a fairly lengthy process. Okay, it's going to copy the files over, it's going to reboot quite a few times. Okay, and we'll rejoin it close to. The next step. Okay, just a quick little note. If you did actually have this in Windows Update, okay, we've actually had our settings over here where it was. Okay, in Windows Update, we had it over here where it was check for updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. That basically kind of like paused that Windows Update scenario. So, if you actually had this, the best option is for you to actually just click on get started or if it was automatic, just let it upgrade Windows 7 or 8 using the Windows update. That's the cleanest, that's the fastest way to do it. Okay. The other options you should choose as a second or third option based on if you're not getting this. Okay, after the restart, it goes into this, and then this will also take quite some time. Okay, it'll go round and round and make up 100% and then move to the next, next, next. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, after the time, it did the 100% and now it's back here. Just enter in a password over there. This is a simple one for this demo. Okay. Now choose your privacy settings. Um, it's a little bit different to the Windows 8 privacy settings. I don't like most of these things except for no, nope. except for the smart screen. Pretty much else, I don't like. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and there we have it. Windows 10. After the upgrade, um, just to make sure that everything is licensed and activated, type in settings, then go to update and security, then activation, and Windows 10 Pro, Windows is activated. Okay, so just to have a quick recap, um, if you actually had that little pop-up over here, okay, and you clicked on it, that would be nice if um, it upgraded it that way. If it took too long or the upgrade never came through, then basically do what we did with the registry thing or just go into Windows Update, okay, on your old system. Okay, you would have had your Windows Update, okay, and it should have had the Windows 10 upgrade in there. If you had it set to automatically install, it would have just installed it, okay, after that registry patch. If both of them didn't work out, then you could have tried the Windows 10 tool that we showed, okay? If you were getting any errors in that Windows 10 tool, then you could have used the other website link that we provided, okay, which is a tech one, and that gives you the same Windows 10. Okay, once you had downloaded that ISO, there were multiple options of how you could have upgraded it. You could have just double clicked on that ISO and then clicked the setup, which is what we did over here. Or you could have basically burned that ISO to a DVD or changed it to basically a USB following one of our previous DVDs on how to change the ISO up to a USB stick. Okay. And basically, you get Windows 10. So hopefully, this has covered the full range of issues and should ensure most people get Windows 10. Hopefully, this has helped. Thank you for watching.